Hi, Els here. And in our previous videos, we did the issue of shares, cash dividend, and a stock dividend. What we're doing right now is we're going to do the statement of changes in equity. We'll then use the statement of changes in equity in order to complete the shareholders equity section of the balance sheet slash statement of financial position. Let's get to it. At the end of our last video, we did a total for each of the T accounts. This will give us the necessary information to create the statement of changes in equity. Make sure you have this information listed down because I'm not going to refer back to it. The statement of changes in equity is always in column form. It starts with the title, which includes the name of the corporation, the name of the statement, and the date. In this case, it's a period of time, so we have to state year ended. The columns go in the same order as the accounts go in for the statement of financial position slash balance sheet, the shareholders equity section, which means that we start with preferred shares, move on to common shares, contributed surplus, retained earnings, and then a total. Preferred shares and common shares both have the number of shares and the capital amount. We then move on to contributed surplus, also called contributed capital. Finally, retained earnings. There is also a total account, but you can see that I've run out of space, so be aware there should be a total account. I'll do it on a separate page. We always start with opening balances. This is totally taken from the T accounts. Then all the business transactions that actually occurred that affected anything having to do with equity. We had the issue of shares, which increased common shares. If we had our total account here, we would add that to the total. Next, we had a cash dividend. Cash dividends go under retained earnings. We also had a stock dividend. I'm going to move the page up a little. The stock dividend increased common shares and decreased the retained earnings. Again, all this information is taken from the T accounts. Finally, we had profit, also called net income. That impacts the retained earnings, increasing it. At the end is the balance at the end of the year. Note that there would be a total column. What would the total column look like? I'm going to show it underneath here. Notice that this zero is the stock dividend because a stock dividend causes retained earnings to go down and common shares to go up by the exact same amount. The net of those two amounts is zero. Notice that this total is the addition both across here as well as down here. You know that if the addition doesn't work in both directions, you've done something wrong. That is the statement of changes in shareholders' equity. We're going to use that information to create the shareholders' equity section of the balance sheet, also called the statement of financial position. I'm going to start with the title shareholders' equity. Add a subtitle, contributed capital, then share capital. Now I start listing the same items as on the statement of changes in equity in the same order. And the amount. Moving on, I'm now going to add common shares. I now provide a total share capital, additional contributed capital, which is the contributed surplus, also called contributed capital. That will give me total contributed capital. Moving the page up a little, I now add retained earnings. And that will provide me with total shareholders equity. Looking at that together, Note that we start with the shareholders equity, move on to contributed capital. Once we have the total contributed capital, we then add in the retained earnings to get the total shareholders equity. And that is the statement of financial position, also called the balance sheet shareholders equity section. I'll see you in the next video.